Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Let's jump into it as we go into this Christmas Eve, Christmas Day stretch. So still looking at this energy merger over Wyoming and Colorado. That's really the key piece of this puzzle for new snow over Christmas Eve. Uh, in Christmas Day in many, in many places. It's really about the timing and the placement of the low, how quickly do things gel. Right now I'm forecasting moderate accumulations for the Tetons and also the Wasatch, but moderate to heavy in Colorado, southern and southeastern Wyoming. Those are going to be the key pieces of this as it comes together. Looking at California, things will eventually dry up here. Um, soon and then the next so what's next for California there's some energy coming in 1227 through 1229 and it looks like the snow levels are going to be lower than what we just dealt with they were just so high for so long so we'll watch that potential stretch for some heavy accumulation in the northeast it's quiet through Christmas Day there is a storm coming in 1226 to 1228 but I'll tell you right now it's looking warm and it could be mainly rain unfortunately again let me um, show you what the water vapor satellite imagery looks like right now. So I'll show you the two pieces of energy that are going to merge. One here moving through California, that becomes a southern track low. The other piece of energy, the spin right here, this moves into the Pacific Northwest with some good snow for BC, Washington State, and then some light to moderate snows through Idaho, Montana, uh, Wyoming, and then eventually the merger happens somewhere in here. And that again, that's 1223, 1224. Uh, so and I'll show you on the future cast. Let me show you here why this is so important. So that's the situation, the forecast radar and satellite by this afternoon. Here's Thursday morning at 6. Low is starting to pull out of California and make its move across the southern track through Arizona and into the four corners. This is the magical moment, 1223 in the morning. You can see the southern low and also the northern low, so the two pieces, Salt Lake and the Wasatch in between. How much of that energy does develop over the Wasatch, or does it wait until it gets to Wyoming? Right now, it looks like there's going to be some development there and some accumulation uh, for the Wasatch. Here we go on 12:23 late in the day, snowing Tetons, Wasatch, and then here's that larger swath or shield of snow as that area of low pressure develops over Wyoming and parts of Colorado. So that'll wrap snow back and give us some bonus snow over the Tetons and the Wasatch. And obviously we're looking at heavy snow for southern Wyoming and most of Colorado in the mountains. And snow down into Denver at 5280. There's 1224 in the afternoon. And by the time we get into Christmas morning, the low is moving away and things will be drying out during the day. So that's why it's so important. The timing and placement and the development of that ultimate, that area of low pressure will determine how much snow, um, in particular, the Tetons and the Wasatch get out of all of this. Let me show you the, uh, the jet pattern here. So this is 1224 late in the day. You can see the trough over Colorado, Wyoming, Utah, and just a little bit of an opening in the northern branch brings in a little bit of colder air. Not a lot, but enough to keep most of this snow. Looking way down the road, I still like what I'm seeing here. This is 1229. Powerful Pacific jet setting up, starting to really escort those storms in and that moisture. Again, I think we're looking at a more active pattern around New Year's and through the month of January with this type of setup. So as far as snow accumulation, 1220 through 1224, you can see four to eight inches, so moderate in the Wasatch, four to eight for the Tetons, four to 12 in Colorado, a foot for southern and southeastern Wyoming, hogged in down to the Snowy Range, Laramie, Laramie Range. So we're talking about great skiing here, 1223, 1224, 1225, Wyoming, the Wasatch, Colorado, northern New Mexico and some decent totals up there in the Pacific Northwest and parts of BC. Here's period two. This is what I was talking about, some bigger accumulations. Look at the numbers up at Baker, Rainier, Whistler, one to two feet, and look at the Sierra, that 1226, 1227, 1228 pattern, 1229. We could be looking at heavy accumulations with lower snow levels in the Sierra, so some good news there. Final uh, map here in the Northeast. I don't have anything through Christmas. But by the time we get to 1226 through 1228, we could have a storm coming through. But again, it looks very warm and it could be mostly rain with only light accumulations in the northeast. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this update. Always appreciate you tuning in here. Have a great day.